welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on my current everyday makeup look. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. Um, parang simple yet elegant. Parang ganon. <laughs> Nakuha pa yun kay, no, kay Jim kasi, um, wait, let me scoop back. Scoop back, scoop back. Nakuha pa yung title kay Jim kasi siya yung nag-request na gawin ko itong makeup tutorial na ito or recreation. Kasi I posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook. If you follow me there, then nakita niyo siguro yung picture na yun. And nagustuhan ko siya. Doon ko lang na, ano, parang doon ko lang na-appreciate yung aking makeup look. Anyway, ipopost ko siya somewhere on the screen. And nagustuhan ko siya and marami na nagkagusto, marami nag-like. So I thought of recreating it. And yeah, without any further ado, magsimula na tayo. Alright, so kakatapos ko lang maligo and I do have a freshly washed clean face. Wala pa ako nilagay sa face. Uh, yeah, wala wala pa. Apitan ako. Let me put my hair back para walang sagabat. Alright, there we go. Perfect! <laughs> um, and then, syempre, before kayo mag-makeup, make sure you have clean hands. Kakatapos ko lang maligo pero syempre, I already touched these makeup products um, kasi nilagay ko na sila dito sa aking table para Madalina and I touched my camera, so clean your hands! I've already applied my toner and moisturizer and now maglalagay ako ng primer. Ito yung, actually I'm going to use every single product na ginamit ko for that makeup look kasi recreation nga. I'm even wearing the same dress para recreation talaga. And for primer, I'm going to use the Quick Effects No Shine Mattifier. I really like this primer kasi it really controls the oils on my face. And it helps in giving me a smooth base for my foundation. Tapos nakaka help na rin siya to minimize the pores or like to blur the pores. Ayan, so ilalagay ko lang siya on basically focusing it on my T-zone. Kasi doon lang naman ako may problema talaga sa oil and sa pores. Tapos yung excess, itadrag ko lang siya all throughout the face. Isa to sa mga super favorite ko na ano, primer kasi una, it really works, tapos it's very affordable. Noon, 89 pesos lang to, pero ngayon, 99 pesos na siya sa Watsons, pero still, it's such a good deal. Ayan, nilapit ko lang kayo ng konti para mas makita niyo yung aking ginagawa. For foundation on that day, I used my Natractor Cover Face Concealer kasi ang dami ko na namang mga pimples na naglalabasa. Itong shade na ginagamit ko is in 151 and my favorite way to apply it is using a sponge. Itong sponge na to, nabili ko sa Shopee, it's actually not good. Pero I tried it for the first time on that day and gusto ko same tools yung gagamitin ko for today's recreation. So, gagamitin ko siya ulit. It's not soft whatsoever. Medyo matigas siya and dinambin ko na siya pero hindi siya lumake. Kalimutan ko yung pangalan ng sponge na to. Parang Bella. Bella sponge. Affordable lang siya. Binili ko lang siya sa Shopee para magkaroon ako ng free shipping. Kasi kulang ako ng konting amount para sa free shipping. So, yun. And then, ayan. I'm just going to apply it on my face directly from the sponge. Tapos, ganyan lang. I'm going to glide it all over my face. Kasi hindi naman siya malambot. So, hindi mo siya pwede ganyan yun. Kasi walang mangyayari. See how it instantly covers yung mga blemishes? Parang medium coverage agad siya. Kahit na ganun lang yung ginawa natin. Tapos, dito rin sa forehead. Konti lang. Right, there we go. Natapos ko na ilagay yung um, foundation on the rest of my face. And nilagay ko rin siya on the under eyes. Kasi technically, it's a concealer. Pero, I use it as foundation. So, yan siya. Mmm. Ah. Ah. Bangga. So, hindi siya ganun pa full coverage kasi I didn't really pack it on right here kasi I don't want it to look super cakey. Anyway, okay na okay na itong para sa akin. And next, I'm going to apply my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade 15 Fair. 15 Fair. Yes, 15 Fair. Papatong ko lang siya dun sa Naturactor Cover Face Concealer. Since this one doesn't really have that much coverage, so gagawin ko lang siya parang Brightener, parang ganun. Ayan. Lalagay ko rin siya sa ano, sides of my nose. Tapos, I'm going to drag it down to my cheek. Parang ganito na shape. Parang ganyan. Para, ibabrighten niya ang ating face. And, it will lift up our face. Parang ganun. This concealer is really great if you have like, dry under eyes. Kasi, Para siyang, ano, para siyang may luminous effect. Parang sa atin yung finish niya. 
and it makes your under eyes look really healthy as skin. I'm going to apply this on the center of the nose as well. Ayan. Cupid's bow, chin, and on the forehead. Para ma-balance out lang yung lightness ng under eyes. Kasi pangit naman po yung under eyes lang, yung super light. And then the rest of the face, dark. <laughs> Ganon. Yan, I'm blending it out using the same sponge. Technically, not a very nice sponge to use for concealer. Pero ito yung ginamit ko noon. So, gamitin natin siya ngayon para sa recreation. Kapag yung ginagamit mo sa yung makeup is a sponge. Technically, it's supposed to make the process be a bit faster. Pero with this one, since it's hard, it makes it a bit longer. Parang hindi nag effect ang sponge. Anyway. Sinimula natin to. So, panagutan na lang nako. Ayan. Diba? Kita niyo ang ganda-ganda ng finish ng concealer. Parang luminous effect na bunk bunk And then... Other side. Medyo matagal itay. Medyo matagal pa itay matatapos. So, move on na lang tayo sa next step. But really, I just wanna watch on TV. <laughs> Alright, so skip na lang natin yung mga mahahaba pag blend blend with this nasty sponge. Um, and, let's move on to the next step. Uh, gagamitin ko pang set ng aking concealer and ng buong face is the, uh, ano pa ito? Airspa Loose Face Powder. Ayan. I'm in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And, nagustuhan ko to. Ginamit ko to siya again. Pero, naglagay ako ng super, super, super dami talaga na powder. And, mas maganda siya, you guys, compared to sa first time that I tried it. Oops. Forgot to remove the puff. Stupid. Anyway, let's do that again. Ayan, meron ng... Ayan, so once meron na tayong powder dyan sa top, tatanggalin ko lang yung mga crease sa aking under eyes para hindi natin maset yung mga crease. Tapos, take some powder on the same sponge. Ayan, tapos iset natin yung ating under eyes. Dagdagan natin. Dapat marami. Ah! Alright. Then, kita niyo. Medyo nag-crease na yung aking eyelid. Kasi nagdagay din ako ng concealer dyan. Ayan. Tanggalin natin yung crease. Then, kuha ulit tayo ng powder. Ayan. Bike din natin ang ating eyelid. Meron din kasing discoloration yung aking eyelid. Kaya, pag nilalagyan ko ng concealer, tsaka binibake ko siya mas nagiging maganda yung itsura ng aking face. di ba? Mas parang fresh yung dating. Tignan niyo yung aking ilong. Nalagyan ko lang siya ng concealer sa gitna. Tapos parang nag-contour na ako, di ba? Wongga! Tapos, other eye naman. Tanggalin natin yung nag-crease. Tapos, actually, it's much better if you don't look down kapag sineset mo yung under eyes. Tapos, gawa kayo ng alien face. Gawa niya. Yan. Ganyan yung siya iset. Para, parang flawless na flawless siya tingnan. <laughs> then, again, same step. Tapos, just do the exact same thing on the entire face. Alright! There we go! Once we look like a total creep. <laughs> naglagay din ako ng konti sa aking neck kasi naglagay ako ng foundation dyan. So ngayon, we're going to let this bake or cook. Parang cook kasi ewan ko. Parang hindi na siya done. So, cook. Once we wait for it to cook, we're going to work on our brows. And I'm going to use my ever favorite Maybelline Fashion Brow 3D Brow and Nose Palette in the shade Light Brown while I look for my brush. Ayan. I'm going to use my Anastasia number 12 brush. My favorite brow brush of all time. Dumidumay ng aking damit. Look. Look at that. 
dami pulbos. Okay, so first step, kukunin ko lang yung wax right here. And I'm going to use the angled brush that this Anastasia number 12 brush comes with. Oh, first step pala is I'm going to brush my brows in place using the spoolie. Para mas madaling mag-outline later on. And then I'm gonna take the wax right here. And I'm really gonna load up the brush with the wax para maging pigmented siya. And para it will help hold the brows in place na rin. Yan. Magsastart ako dito sa gitna, sa, sa ilalim. And i-outline ko lang yung brows. And pina-follow ko lang yung natural shape ng aking brows. And then I go ahead and I work on the upper part. Start dito sa middle. Then going to the arch. And, and then dragging it down to the tail. Yan. Tapos I fill it in with the same wax as well. So, parang this will act as the glue na rin for your eyebrow powder. Para maging tawag ng butch proof ang yung brows. Alright, now dito naman tayo sa gitna. Gitna. <laughs> Working our way to the inner corners. Doon lang tayo maglalagay sa inner corners kapag konti na lang yung nasa brush natin. Tapos... Very, very light lang yung product na ilalagay natin dyan. Para hindi masyadong harsh yung ating brows tignan. Dito naman tayo sa itaas. Tapos hindi ko nalilinyahan yung pinaka inner corner dito sa itaas. Para mas parang gradient effect and mas soft tignan. Ayan. And then with whatever is left on the brush, Yun yung alalagay ko dito sa inner corners. Ipi-flick up ko lang siya. Para mas natural tignan. Tapos, papatungan ko siya nitong brow powder. Yung second one, yung nasa middle. Magsistart ako dito sa tail. So, ito yung gusto ko na pinaka-dark na part ng aking brows. Then, yung sobrang powder sa brush, yun lang yung ilalagay ko dito sa, ano, yun lang yung idadrag ko dito sa inner corners. Para hindi siya masyadong harsh. After that, gagamit ako ng brow mascara. This one is by Sun Sun. Yung color niya is light brown. Ito yung favorite na favorite ko na ginagamit for my brows. Naghihikahos na ang aking brow mascara. Definitely need to replace it. Ayan, there we go. One brow done. Gagawin ko yung other brow off camera kasi step by step ko lang pinakita sa inyo yung paano ko ginawa ito. So, I will be right back with two full brows. Right back, both brows done. Only took me like 15 minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and brush off the excess powder on my face. Oh, love this brush. Ganda -ganda ng brush. Ganda -ganda, I love it so much. The best brush to use for like whisking away the excess powder on your face is a nice flimsy powder brush. But it won't like disturb the powder and foundation underneath. Very light hand lock. Sa malapitan, hindi siya ganun kaganda yung finish ng aking skin. Pero all we need to do is set it with like a setting spray para mas magukha siyang mas skin-like. But I'm going to apply it after I finish the powder products. Now, nakareceive ako ng questions if the airspun um, powder leaves like a white cast on picture. So I'm going to try taking a picture right now. Okay, so wala naman siyang white cast na nililip you guys. Maganda naman yung finish niya sa aking skin. I like it. 
maganda siya kaysa flash photography. Pero siguro kung mas dark yung skin tone yung sa akin, mas maganda na while whisking it away, magkuha kayo ng foundation powder na same skin tone sa inyo. Tapos, yun yung gamitin nyo pang whisk away ng air spot para mas safe, diba? Alright, now let's move on to bronzer. I'm going to use my ever so favorite Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Light Bronzer pala. Tapos, I'm gonna take a brush like this one para mas maliit dun sa aking powder brush. Tapos, I'm really gonna load my brush with this bronzer kasi light lang naman siya para sa akin. And then, ito yung gagamitin ko parang pang contour ng aking face and pang bronze na rin. All in one. Okay. Super cute itong aking mirror. <laughs> I got it from Japan Home Center. Ang cute kit niya. See? Parang Beauty and the Beast ask them. Oh, this bronzer. Ang bango-bango pa niya. Tapos easy to blend. Very easy to work with. Super bongga. Tapos mag-apply din ako nitong bronzer sa aking temples and sa forehead. Para balance ang darkness sa aking face. sa ating jawline. And it's a double chin rin. Hit that double chin. Erase all the fries that you ate. The fries, the chocolate, the cake, pizza, carbonara, lahat. Ayan, di ba? Bangga. Bangga na tayo. Now, before I work on this part of my face that I contour. I'm gonna show you how I contoured my nose dun sa picture na yun kasi I contoured my nose. <laughs> Gagamitin ko yung Showil Perfect Powder in the shade 003. Very good buy for such an affordable price. And gagamitin ko yung blending brush ng aking Naked, um, Naked 3. Yeah. Na ano, brush. Yung double-ended brush. Tapos, I'm just gonna swirl the brush around top of the excess kasi it's a bit powdery. Tapos, magsa-start ako dito. Dito na part ng aking nose. Tapos, hindi ko siya ilalagay dun sa talagang parang buto ng aking nose. I'm gonna move it inwards para mas maging maliit yung aking nose. Parang ganyan. Parang plastic surgery face. Starting dito sa my brow. Just drag it down. Hanggang dito sa ilalim. Ayan, ganyan. Medyo harsh pa siya right now. Pero, let's work on the other side. Again, just swirl my brush around and tap off the excess para hindi masyadong harsh. Tapos, start tayo dito sa may kilay. Then, just drag it down. hanggang dito sa ilalim para para mas umangat yung ating ilong dito sa ilalim lagyan natin ng shadow para mas umangat na yung ilong yun yung purpose nun ayun nga ganyan lang ako mag contour ng aking nose like for everyday like kung gusto mong nose contour for everyday ganito yung ginagawa ko blend blend mo lang dito sa outer part para hindi ganun ka obvious tignan Gusto ko rin maglagay dito, dito sa gilid ng nose para parang lumiit ng konti yung nose ko. Yeah, just like that. And right here sa gilid. Parang ilong na ni Barbie. Char. Okay. So, hindi pa nagtatapos dyan ang iyong nose line kasi kailangan mo pang i-highlight yung center dito, yung bridge, para mas bongga siya tignan. I'm gonna use this one, yung nose, shadow, shadow and highlight na nakuha ko from Daiso. And gagamitin ko lang yung highlight nito. By the way, I have a full face Daiso makeup tutorial and review coming soon. So, abangan niyan. Kukunin ko lang itong pang highlight dito. Ayan, konti lang yung kukunin ko. Tap off the excess. And lalagay ko lang siya start ako dito sa point ng ating nose. Right there. And then just drag it up. Ayan! 
para ma-cheat mo ng konti yung iyong tip ng nose, gawin mo siya medyo mataas sa actual tip na yung nose para parang pinch talaga siya tignan. Okay, now while we're at it, gagamitin ko rin itong same contour powder. Kukuha lang ako ng konti on the same blending brush. Tapos ilalagay ko siya dito sa crease ng aking mata para magkaroon tayo ng konting parang eyeshadow. Parang ganun. Konting-konti lang. Yan, dito lang sa crease ng ating mata. Just like so. Tapos, blend natin siya. Para hindi siya masyadong harsh. Para lang magkaroon ng contour yung ating mata. Para hindi siya hubad na hubad. Kuha pa ako ng konti. Tapos maglalagay ako dito sa outer corners. Para magkaroon ng konting depth. Tapos again, blend, blend lang ito sa crease. Tapos, maglalagay ako nitong same nose shadow highlight from Daiso. Lalagay ko siya sa aking brow bone. Ah, ganda diba? Ganda-ganda nito from Daiso. Definitely a must try. Abangan niyo yung aking Daiso full face. Kasi buwanggang buwangga yun. Tapos, maglalagay din ako nitong same highlight dito sa aking inner corners. Definitely need a mirror for this. Ayan, hindi ka gumamit ng mirror. It went everywhere. Diba? Bongga na tayo. Pwede na tayong i-date ng ating husband. <laughs> Ayan, it's time for blush. And I'm gonna use my ever favorite this month. It's the Astralis Show Some Cheek Blush in the shade Cameo. Ang ganda-ganda nito yung guys. Let's see. <laughs> Tapos gagamitin ko itong um, angled parang buffing brush. At yung ginamit ko nung day na yun. So, let's try using it. This is very pigmented, tapos this brush picks up a lot of product as you can see. So, di pa ako magsistart sa outer part ng aking cheeks. Para hindi tayo magbukhang clown. Moving my way inwards. Ayan, just like that. Alright, now we are on to highlight. Malapit na tayo matapos. I'm gonna use my favorite din for this month. Lagi ko siyang ginagamit. The Manizer Sisters. Gagamitin ko si Mary Lou right here. And I'm gonna use my Real Technique setting brush with this one. Ito yung favorite ko na pang highlight na brush. Yes, yan. Pagkatapos ko siyang labahan, ginagamit ko na rin siya ulit. Ayan, di ba? Ang bangga si Mary Lou. Mmm, ta. Highlight for the gods. <laughs> Tapos, itadrag ko siya until dito sa ibabaw, ibabaw, until dito sa ibabaw ng aking brow, arch ng brow, kasi ang ganda ng effect kapag meron din highlight dyan. Pero konting-konti lang. Diba? Bongga. Maglalagay din ako ng konti nito, Mary Lou, on my, um, dito sa aking Cupid's bow. Gagamitin ko lang yung aking ring finger para mas precise na application. Just like that. Tapos, it's time for mascara. Ang gagamitin kong mascara is my favorite as well. Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. Really makes my lashes super long <laughs> and curled. So, una, curl ko yung aking lashes starting dun sa base mga 10 seconds tapos sa middle naman and then sa tip para maganda yung pagkakakurl ng lashes pag ganyan siya, hindi yung pag ganyan. After ko siyang i-curl ilalagay ko na agad-agad yung mascara para super curl pa siya, para hindi siya bumagsak 
I don't know why, pero with this mascara, super messy talaga ng application ko. Like, nalalagyan ko talaga yung aking eyelid. I don't know why. Siguro kasi basang-basa siya. Ayan. Diba bonggang-bongga? Tapos, huwag natin kalimutan yung lower lashes. Patutuyuin ko muna yung mascara bago ko linisin yung mga bubu ko. And, we're off to the lips. Yung ginamit kong lipstick is my Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Clay Crush. Para naging bagong favorite ko ito eh. Kasi ang ganda-ganda ng shade niya. Marami din nagkagusto. Alam niyo ba na yung paglalagay ng lipstick is one of the hardest things that I find to do on camera kasi parang mahirap, mahirap siya gawin na in free kasi you have to be really close to my mirror. And then, only thing left to do is apply setting spray. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild setting spray, photo focus setting spray. Shashake ko lang siya, ayan, and apply it on my face. Right, so while waiting for this to dry, um, nagbiblink na ang aking camera. So, I will be back with better hair. I will fix my hair. And babalik ako for the outro. Alright guys, so here is the finished look. Pinatcha ko yung hair ko para maganda-ganda naman tayo. And back. Yeah. I really love this makeup look. Super simple to recreate, pero... As I said, simple, pero makes a statement, right? Bongga, bongga. Parang super elegant. And minimal products lang yung ginamit natin. So, very, very, very simple. Very easy to follow. Sana nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito. And I can't stop. Taking my hair around. <laughs> okay, yun na yun. That is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo. And I hope you captured some lessons. Parang ganun. <laughs> Sana at least may natutunan kayo sa akin and I hope you enjoyed watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And also, kung gusto nyo lang naman, you can click the subscribe button and the notification bell to help this plump caterpillar to become a butterfly. And para din ma-notify kayo every time I upload a new video which is every other day. So, yun. Also, comment in the comment section below kung ano yung mga comments nyo, questions, suggestions, recommendations, or whatever you want to say. I love reading comments and it always gives me a smile every time I read them. So, do that. And thank you so much for watching for the nth time. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Ayan, bata to. And marap, marala. Dito muna sa outer part ng chin. Oh! And I'm gonna see you. Nilagyan ko lang siya ng highlighter dyan. Nilagyan ko. Medyo matagal pa ito yung matatapos. Since this. Since. Tapos, ipapatong ko lang to sa aking under eye. So, ipapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap